Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today City of Version 1.1 was released, and it now includes support for things like activator and overall speed improvements, as well as a new type of multitasking. Because they couldn't incorporate native multitasking, they actually built in an algorithm to let you resume where you left off in City exactly. So now it kind of supports multitasking, so to speak. So in order to get it, all you have to do is open up Cydia. And by the way, this should come pre-installed with future jailbreaks, but if it doesn't, you'll just have to follow the same steps. It's very easy. Then once it's finished reloading the data and actually downloading the updates, you will get something that looks like this. It could say two essential upgrades or more depending on when you jailbreak and when you open up Cydia. But once it says this, all you have to do is hit complete upgrade. And then once it brings you to this screen, simply hit confirm. So now it is downloading all of the packages that are essential and now it is getting ready to install them. So I will be back once it has finished installing. All right, so it finished and I wasn't actually sure if it installed right because I actually did get two separate errors But then something came up that said close city and in parentheses it said restart So I just clicked that and then it took me to the home screen and I just reopened Cydia And now I am on the new version of Cydia and once it's finished reloading the data I'll just simply scroll down and show you guys that now it says Cydia 1.1 All right, so it now says it's Cydia 1.1.1 and there we go, you have the newest version of Cydia. And again, uh, it does support things like Activator, so I can swipe over and I have SB settings right there. And you can also access the multitasking bar as well and basically just do anything you normally could with uh, different gestures inside of Activator. Like for instance, I just exited out to the home screen simply by double tapping the status bar. And overall, it just includes different speed improvements. Uh, from what I can tell so far, it doesn't look like it's that much faster. However, uh, it is faster when you actually are installing things. So for instance, I'm just going to find something to install really quick. And it also has a different interface. As you can see here, when I'm actually searching for something, it looks very nice in comparison to the older version. And it also looks cleaner and more simple as well. So now I'm just going to install OpenSSH and uh, we'll see how fast this thing really is. Okay, yeah, that was actually pretty fast. And it also looks like there's some new type of scrolling text there. We see some bold, some that isn't bold, and also there is a new loading bar there as well. All right, now I'm gonna give you guys a quick example of the new multitasking algorithm that they incorporated into the newest version of Cydia. So I'm at the search tab at the bottom and I have open S typed in for open SSH. As you saw previously, I installed it. So now I'm just going to exit out to the home screen and now I'm going to open Cydia back up and you will see that it says loading and it gives me the little pinwheel and then after that it will just take me right back to the same exact spot after it finishes loading. So there you go, that is basically the new version of multitasking that they have implemented because again they can't get native multitasking support for it. It also supports a bunch of other languages now as well. So uh, yeah, that's basically the new version of Cydia and how to get it. So I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and also subscribe if you aren't already. Until next time, this is ICU, signing out.